sense that nothing important okay, that nothing important happened after 1900. <laughs> perhaps I should revise that. What I mean to say is there are areas in American history that were sort of signposts that we should have paid attention to. And nothing more important to American history occurred than the, the Civil War and Reconstruction. <coughs> and so it was this period from 1865. Oh, to, okay, I can't talk louder without the, the mic, perhaps. But in any case, um, between 1865 and 1876, America stood at a crossroads. This nation had the opportunity to extend full citizenship <coughs> rights to African Americans, not just to the newly emancipated, but to those who had been free before the war as well. Because you know that people who had been free before the Civil War did not have full citizenship rights either. Most of them did not. And so we stood at that crossroads, and as a nation, we failed to follow through. Uh, so the kinds of issues that we have today in America, uh, the disadvantage uh, faced by many African Americans, the poverty, the, the racial violence, uh, the, the really strained race relations we have in this country, can be traced back to the Reconstruction period. It originated in that era. We know that slavery certainly was the true origin, but there was a lot going on in Reconstruction that could have been different. Now this film, uh, if I know what I'm talking about, and I don't know, I haven't seen the film yet. I did not see part one. Uh, I don't watch myself after. Uh, it's just too difficult. I take the time to critique everything I'm doing. So it's like I have a red ink pen and I'm dealing with my students' papers. And so I'm going through this, this scene and I'm going, now what could I have done differently? What words should I have used instead of what I actually used? So I try not to view these films. But I did have the opportunity to review the rough cuts uh, for uh, episode one and episode three. And so based on what I've seen of that, I believe what Professor Gates was attempting to do was to make that connection between today mm -hmm. and what did and did not happen <clears throat> during the Reconstruction period and the post-Reconstruction era. Because this doesn't stop with 1876. It goes right down to the 20th century, at least to the 1890s. There are certain themes that you should um, pay attention to as you view this 20-minute segment, but also as you uh, review the um, as you view the um, the rest of the episodes. What I found, at least if the rough cut stayed, <laughs> those things mentioned stayed in there. The themes had to do with one of the themes that is extending throughout uh, these episodes is the theme of African American agency. The idea that African Americans did not sit by the wayside and let white men determine their freedom, when they were going to get it, or what they did after they got that freedom. So that agency is very visible there. Starting with the contraband, uh, or so-called contraband. Men and women who decide they're going to leave the plantations during the war, even though no one is saying to them that they are going to get their freedom. They decide for themselves that they are going to be free. They are going to do it themselves long before Lincoln even entertained the idea of an Emancipation Proclamation, long before Congress decided that it was okay for black men to serve in the military. They knew that they were able to do that and they were clamoring to do that. So that agency is there. There is agency when they're building their own institutions after the war. And these are institutions that they want to control right down to the school system. They are not interested so much in integration as they are in controlling their own schools. They know what they want their children to learn. So they had had these experiences with the missionaries during the war, and their views, their interests, their aspirations didn't always gel with the missionaries. And so they wanted to be able to control that institution. They had their own churches, a place where they could learn to be leaders and where they could uh, provide jobs for each other. It was more than just a spiritual institution. It was an economic one, it was a social one, uh, it was a leadership academy as well. Um, they are forming business institutions. 
Yes, they have these um, mutual aid or benevolent societies, but they are also creating official economic institutions. They're opening banks mm -hmm. in the Reconstruction period, in the post-Reconstruction era. The Freedmen's Bureau Bank was, um, was the Freedmen's Bank was certainly um, not as successful as they would have liked, but that doesn't mean that they stopped believing in the banking system. They just wanted to be able to control it themselves. So there are all of these things that are happening that are very positive during Reconstruction. They get the right to vote during this period. They are able to acquire land, a few of them, during this period. As a consequence of pulling resources together, men who got bounties for serving in the military pooled those resources and purchased land. Others purchased, it could be a postage stamp piece of land, but they understood that independence, economic independence, was based on land ownership. These were rural people, and they understood that if they couldn't get that economic independence, they were gonna be sharecroppers or day laborers, and it's not what they wanted. So they did everything they could to get uh, that kind uh, of economic independence. Of course, we know that things changed after 1876 as a consequence of violence and intimidation. They lost many of the rights they, that they had acquired during the Reconstruction period. And so this documentary talks about the consequences of that as well. So when we look at Reconstruction, we do need to remember that there are two sides of it. There's a very positive side where African Americans are advancing in many instances as a consequence of their own actions. But then there's, there's that second piece where there's a tremendous amount of violence and intimidation. There's a struggle during this period between African American aspirations and the desire of some people to maintain white supremacy. And it's, it's a struggle that continues this day because these issues were not resolved during Reconstruction. So I hope you do enjoy uh, the documentary. Uh, I hope it is all that I had expected it to be. Uh, one of these days I will probably take a look at it when I can still it seeing myself on camera. I guess that is so vain. Um, there's so many other people who are in this film that I could, this documentary that I could learn from, I'm sure, but I am a little, it's a little, um, Queasy to think of yourself on film and having other people critique you. In any case, that's all I have to say right now, so we probably should start the documentary.